to get uh, pick up a Grubhub pretty quickly, but. Ooh. Also, that's, What'd you get? Uh, Boiger. Boiger? What on earth just happened in there? Mr. Nor read. I'm still busy doing things. Mr. Nor I've managed to find out what happened. Miss Suzato. I was told it was an advanced form of smoke grenade, a type of exploding device that releases smoke. A smoke grenade? It, it sounds like the sort of thing ninjas use. They're just making sure everything is safe now. I think the trial will be get start again before long. But who would have done something like that? The police managed to catch someone who was trying to flee the courtroom, apparently. Everyone? What? Oh. Okay. Flee the courtroom? Why? Well, it's a young girl of around 15, I hear. So, your age, apparently? A young yeah. girl? Then, could it be the other passenger that Mr. McGilded was just talking about? My thoughts exactly. So he wasn't lying. Why would he be? Oh, what's become of Mr. McGilded, actually? There's so many things I need to ask him about, but he's not here. I think he was summoned to the prosecutor's antechamber to answer questions. Al oh. I'm Suzato, along with the <laughs> young girl. Who is she, I wonder? And what was she even doing here at the trial? She was taking a huge risk, and for what possible benefit to herself? There's another matter that's troubling me. What's that? The 20 pence. Hm. Oh, um... 20 is a number, according to the coachman, Mr. <laughs> Bearpaw. Oh, is it Gina? I don't care if it's Gina or Watson. I'm ex if it's Gina, I'm taking her because she's the most Jello Eyes character design. Huh? He took four passengers that night at a fare of five pence each. That comes to a total of twenty pence each. But now it seems there were in fact five passengers, which means the figures don't seem to add up again. Uh, she's right. That is strange. Counsel for the defense, kindly proceed into the courtroom. The trial will recommence in five minutes. Oh, thank you, officer. We'll go in straight away. Are you still going? Still doing that thing, Siv? So? Okay. Okay. We can't hear you <laughs> if you're there. Whoever she is, I imagine this young girl will be asked to take the stand and testify now. I really can't imagine what she's going to say, but it could alter the whole direction of the trial. We'll know soon enough, Miss Suzato. Uh, yes! Yeah! Uh, yeah! Hey, Dave February, you know. Yeah, it's Gina! I love her design so much. There's the young girl next to Mr. McGilded. Look, would you mind taking over, Suzato? Because I'm going to be all four of okay, these characters. I'm here. Oh, Hello. Oh, okay. hi. Hello. She she must have been the one who caused the disturbance before. I'm taking Gina, oh. by the way. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> well, after the rather eventful recess, the court will now resume the trial of Mr. Magnus McGilded. Oh, yes, the recess. <laughs> yes, the recess. The recess in the, in the stock market. Um, now then, yeah. Lord Van Zeeks. My lord. Oh, God, you're scary. I forgot. Yeah. I believe you've established the cause of the smoke which veiled proceedings earlier. It seems to have been an advanced form of smoke grenade, of the sort typically employed by the army. Good gracious, the army? What in the devil's name? It was an elaborate attempt by a young girl to cloak her escape from the public gallery, but she was caught and now occupies the stand. Hmm. Your name, girl? Hmm. Are you responsible for the smoke grenade which induced such pandemonium here in my courtroom? What is the meaning of this deplorable behavior? <clears throat> oh, the ragamuffin? If I may, my lord. You may not. Go oh. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think. What? I think perhaps <laughs> I ought to explain here uh, why it is that this way last was here in the first place and why she tried to bolt like that. Tis all tied up with the events of that night, so it is. Mmm. Bonk. Very well, Mr. McGilded. Give your testimony. You will explain to the court exactly how this young woman is involved in this case. Hmm. Just what did happen that night? It's not like a defense lawyer needs that information or anything. 
Hello. On the night in question, I took the back seat in the omnibus and promptly nodded I heard off. That was really good, by the way, the night in question. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Then, Bagora, a loud thud and a wee scream woke me up with a fire start. There was a fella collapsed on the floor at me feet, so I sat him up on the seat across from me. Then I turned to find where that seat, you know, as one does. <laughs> then I turned to find out where that scream had come from, and bless my soul, what did I find? There was a child in there, all curled up in a ball, hiding her wee self away. Fucking love getting to voice McGill, dude. Yeah. It's, it's not even like, it's not even like Americanized Irish, where you've got the lilt, but you're talking with the American cadence. It's like, full on, fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, I know they, huh? they've got it, all of the different aspects. And even then, the I'm going, I'm going really pretty good. light. You can go so yeah. far into Irish. <laughs> I absolutely appreciate that they put after in there. That is, that is, that is how you speak it. <laughs> I remain somewhat baffled, I confess, but from what I gather on the night in question, this young girl was indeed riding in the omnibus. Is that correct? It is exactly as the defense counsel said. This lass was the fifth passenger, my lord. Bonk. Very well. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. Are you ready, counsel? No! Or rather, no. I have no idea where to start. Hmm. Hoity toity potato. Okay. Ooh! I feel like I should probably press that. You you sat him up. The victim, you mean. Thought I did. On the seat across from me, as I said. I could plainly see the poor devil was already gone. And you wouldn't leave a dead man just lying on the floor now, would you? Pure Irish hospitality! <laughs> but only to dead people. <laughs> Tis common courtesy, so it is. I find that a little hard to believe. Ara! I, I don't know how do you do that. Ara, Lord Van Zeeks! If anyone knows how to say that, please inform me. Usually it's Ara Ara. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I have a hard time that, not I'm reading it that way. Ara! Ara Ara! You wait to find a man lying dead at your feet in a carriage. Any normal person would hail the cabman. Any upstanding member of London society, that is. I can see that you're a dirty Irishman, so you would never do that. All right. Oh, but I, I rush to help. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, as you know, I'm something of a special line of business. I'm in something of a special line of business. The business of lending money at exorbitant rates of interest. Unfortunately, my word, my word. <laughs> Not everyone is thankful for the help I offer them, and some would even see me dead. So I do try, where at all possible, to avoid getting myself in a tangle with trouble. Uh, are you suggesting you were just going to leave the man there? Heavens alive, no! I was always intending to report it, so I was. Only, I had a mind to find out the whys and wherefores first. The whys and wherefores? Right you are. There were some details I, uh, I wanted to understand before... Anyone else go to meddling? That way scream I heard, for example. Wouldn't your, wouldn't your good self do just the same? It's very hard to, like, quickly cold read this accent. Oh, no, for <laughs> sure. You're doing great. Thank you. Uh, yes. The scream he says he heard at the same time as the thud of the victim collapsing. Hmm. I turned to find out. And bless my hole, what did you find? There was a child. Yeah, let's, t let's talk about her. Oh, my burger's here. You say she was hiding herself. Aye, that's right. Right under the bun. Right next to the sesame seed. Crunch. <laughs> Twas hard to see in the dim lamplight, but she was all curled up in a wee ball. When our eyes met, well, my heart nearly stopped beating in me chest. Uh, you're really overacting. You're really overacting this. Still and all, I pulled her out from under there and sat her on the seat opposite so I could have a wee chin wag with her. <laughs> the, that's great. The seat opposite. That's right. Just next to the something I didn't read. Just next to the dead gentleman there. What you you said this young girl next to a corpse, sir. Well, 
As I'm sure I mentioned, a gentleman in my position can all too often find himself in mortal danger. So, I needed to find out just who this urchin was, you see. Mm. And while I was in the middle of talking with her, I heard another scream. A fella's voice this time. Presumably that scream was Mr. First, who was sitting on the roof deck seats. Right you are again, I would say, sir. Looking down through the skylight, he must have seen this young girl and the gentleman with the knife in his belly. In other words, the previous witness did not, in fact, see you at all, Mr. McGilded. What they believed to be yourself and the victim was, in fact, this girl and the late Mr. Mason. Aye, my lord. I was, as I think everyone understands now, sat at the back of the carriage out of sight. I'm gonna go get my hamburger. <laughs> Oops, shit. Go get your hamburger and hamburger. we can look at the little specks. I'm eating me biscuits because it's tea time. Ooh, how are they? They're biscuits. Mmm. Hey, chat. They're British bis biscuits, not American biscuits. Is there a big difference for that? Yes, absolutely. What oh. Americans consider biscuits are like the things that you get at like cheese biscuits at like Olive Garden or something. They're like savory. And what British consider biscuits are like cookies and things that you can dip in tea. Oh. All right, I yeah, guess that makes me sense. popcorn just for the stream. What? There's a non there's some non sense in an upcoming moment okay don't no spoilers no. that's all right i'm sure we'll get mad at it that's a lot of french fries well jello are you <laughs> ara ara you ready no i know i'm not <laughs> ah. what's an irish hamburger it's like one of those portobello mushroom burgers or an eggplant sandwich except with a big four-leaf clover in the middle of it mm -hmm. i was about to say haggis haggis is haggis is scottish right yes yeah. okay yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sorry i'm trying to locate the um Burger. No, the straw for my drink. I don't think they included one. Burger. No! Wow, there are literal strawberries floating in this strawberry lemonade. I guess I appreciate the authenticity. That's pretty good. They ain't lying. Oh. Like, there's just whole ass strawberries in it. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> And readily confused, perhaps, with this young girl. After that, of course. With the scream from the gentleman over us, the driver realized something was wrong and pulled up the horses. I do wonder how you must be feeling, Mr. Narahodo. Being the defendant's lawyer and yet finding myself as stunned at everyone el as everyone else at his testimony, let's just say it's... trying. We certainly had precious little time to talk to Mr. McGilded before the trial. But we mustn't be dispirited. We must just try to learn all the facts we can. I really mm -hmm. like Suzato. Yeah, she's good. I like everyone. Yeah. Uh, when we arrived in London this morning, I didn't see my day panning out like this. Mr. Nodo, no grumbling. Even in your head. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? All right. Um, let's, doi 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 doi. let's take a look. Just to remind myself, what uh, what items do we How have? How do I play this game? What is Ace Attorney? Webster's Dictionary defines Ace Attorney. <laughs> okay. Yep. Sounds about right. Crime scene photograph. Yep. Stop. I don't... You don't need to play that over and over again, guys. Do, 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 do. I wonder when this is gonna, like, matter. Well, her hiding in it? Probably soon. You would hope. 
Oh, the items are gone. Oh, they removed everything. It's a storage compartment. It's totally empty. Something doesn't seem right here. I can't put my finger on what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's empty now. Um, oops. And Bagora! 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 You... D did I already do this one? I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. Uh, yes. Yes, I yep. did. Oh, the delicious Good Irish job. burger made me forget. The burger that wipes your memories. That sounds very Irish folklore. Mm-hmm. Man, if I if I had a burger place and I wanted a Irish burger, I'd call it Burgora. Oh, look <laughs> at you! Yeah. You fucking clever bitch. <laughs> okay. What could I find? Hold it! Hold it! Um, I'm afraid I don't understand. I'm sure you told the court that there was no one else in the carriage except yourself and the victim. So I did, sir, so I did. As far as I could see, that is. What do you mean by that? Well, now, it is a clear thing. The wee scream I heard as I woke up, it said, Trans rights! <laughs> 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 it came from, uh, if you'll excuse the vulgar expression, under me backside! Good gracious! Under your backside? That be an ass. And when I lifted the seat on which I'd been sitting, I found there was a wee cubbyhole there for storage. Mr. Maruhoto, we can examine the omnibus ourselves, remember? I did. I just did. Thank goodness! I was worried that that burger might have gotten to you. And that's when I found her. There was a child. I... Th that kind... Oh, hello. Polly right. Poirot, I'm not a big fan of the ter the phrase came from me pooter. Don't like that at all. <laughs> Good thing I didn't say it. <laughs> um, I mean that kind of implies that they um I just in case, I'm gonna check if now I need to like if that was a flag and now I need to check it again. That's a good yeah, idea. Maybe. So so I guess the consideration is if he sat on that chair, that means she has been in there since before he boarded. I guess so, yeah. That's not really a contradiction though, it's just additional information. No, it just means that Beppo needs to have noticed that she got on at any point. I mean she probably but just stowed Beppo. away, right? Like mm. Alright, no, I guess I, I think I'm just supposed to present this at some point. Yeah. Maybe you can get in from underneath. Maybe there's like a latch on the outside. Maybe. There seems to be a blood stain on the floor now. Is there? I didn't see one. Yeah, there was. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <sighs> no. Would kill for a skip start button. Oh, sorry. My, cr my crow boys are here and I need to feed them. Feed your sons! The bros that are crows. I'm getting crumbs everywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> Turn into a little vacuum. Boom, 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 boom. Hold right click to skip faster. I think we've seen that tip before, but Jello won't do that. <laughs> Quick, get his ass while he's not around. <laughs> I, I, like... He, he, he's our Aaron Hansen for some things, so it's fine. <laughs> or should I say hey, Aaron? Hey, Jello, who might watch this in the future, sorry if you're wrong. Fine, I'll throw in a compliment. More like our Aaron Handsome. Food. All right. <laughs> what did I do? Just being yourself, you hunk. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's go! <laughs> oh. See that? Yes, there's quite a bit, isn't there? Oh, goodness. Well, well I... Jesus, Mary No, Joseph. I legitimately didn't see that at all. I saw that the first time we came in, but I was like, I think that was there before. And then you guys asked, I'm like, was it not there? Oh, no, it super wasn't. That's blood, isn't it? Is something wrong? Oh, it's just... Well, this blood stain is so obvious, that's all. Surely anyone would have noticed it. And yet, Van Zeeks has made no mention of it. I 
suppose that does seem a little strange. Why do I have such a bad feeling about this? All right. Am I okay with red gameplay mold? hints? No, it's red floor. <laughs> Am I okay with gameplay hints? I will ask. Um, well, thank you for asking first, though. That's appreciated. <laughs> people already spoiled a bunch of shit. Um, oh, I didn't see. Um, I'm just wondering where I need to, like... I'm just on the floor. Bless my soul. What did I find? I'm just not really sure where I'm supposed to present this. Someone spilled wine. Van Zykes gets in it while everyone's screaming about the smoke bomb. <coughs> Spills. <laughs> <laughs> Still eating my burger. Okay. I, t I picked a bad time to order food, but I've had like nothing to eat today. Hey man, just be like me and eat every time we have a stream. All right. Um. Oy, oy, oy. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure where to press this thing. <laughs> there was a child there, all curled up in a wee ball. That's, like, nothing contradicts that. Um... You right there, hon? I'll get there, don't worry. Just went down the wrong pipe. Oh, no. Like, none of this contradicts anything he's saying. Are there, are there other items that I've got that might be relevant? Wouldn't be that. He doesn't know this guy, I don't think. Uh, I'm sorry, what sort of contradiction or pressing thing are you looking for? I literally have no idea, because the only thing we want to bring up is that there's blood in the... Okay. <clears throat> but there's... So, the loud thud and the wee scream, that wouldn't have been uh, Mr. First, would it? No. No. It's a So, it's a press body. it on that. What is the scream you heard? I did. Well, that's going to be the, the girl under his ass. Yeah, I did. Hmm. The loud thud is obviously the body that's hitting the... Character. I don't think I pressed the right thing. I thought I pressed everything. All right. <clears throat> Would be nice if I... I'm just going to skim through. We're not cabin... All right. Cabin was empty. There was no one on the roof deck either. You were the first passenger, as it were. I see. Hmm. And that's why I took the back side as I did. Tis the most comfortable, so it is. Could you explain exactly what you meant by the back seat? Uh, by all means, tis how you described it uh, uh, earlier. I'm talking about the seat opposite the one in which the poor gentleman who was stabbed was sitting. Like I said, tis the most comfortable and where I feel most at ease. And of course, I enjoy gazing through the skylight from time to time as well. Okay. Alright, we did that one. Uh, we did this one because they were like, what the fuck, why would you do that? Um, this is the butt one. And I did this one. Hmm. I I have no idea. Maybe this is a press everything one. I did. That's all five. It could be the worst mechanic in Ace Attorney, which is press all of them and then press one of them again. Um, which we have not encountered yet. You did not press the second one. Are you sure? I think this one I've pressed like four times by accident. <laughs> and a scream. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, I guess not. Oh, no, this mm -hmm. is different. Mm-hmm. How? Uh, all right. I guess my brain doesn't work. All right. So you think it was the sound of Mr. Mason falling to the floor having been stamped? Well, now, you remember I was asleep at the time, so I wouldn't like to say... And when the sound woke me and I opened my eyes, there wasn't a soul to be seen in the carriage but the fella on the floor. You didn't see anyone. But at the same moment, you did hear a scream. Ah, uh, from the seat something something. Uh, no, not from above me. The seat's me. above no. you, I assume. Not above me, no, my lord. It was from inside the cabin. But I wasn't altogether thinking about the scream. No, I was too stunned by the desperate sight before me eyes. Yeah, all right, I just needed to press all of them. Thank you, I've heard enough. The events as explained are clear in my mind, however, at least one conundrum remains. All right. Who is the girl? Girl? Child? <laughs> Her name is Gina Lestrade, my lord. 
She's a chancer, earns her crust among large crowds, relieving people of their purses. Uh, what's commonly called a pickpocket. What? This girl here, a petty thief, arrest her! Also, she's a newsie, because Jello needs <laughs> even more reasons to like her. Order! Order! Okay, but better. You've described almost every woman in Ace Attorney. <laughs> Is this true, Miss Lestrade? Miss Lestrade, you will answer the question. Oh, oh. fuck! <laughs> oh, dear. what is the meaning of this? Oh. oh! The girl! She's gone! Open your... Oh. Open your eyes. I'm over here. Good gracious. Ah. What was the point in that little sidestep? I know what you lot are thinking. Grown-ups are all the same. This dirty little dipper, you'll say, slipped up and got caught on the job. She got herself backed into a corner, so she knifed the gent. Go on. That's what's in your heads, ain't it? Uh, no, not at all. This is a court of law, so fuck you. <laughs> Unfazed. I love her, I love her, I love her. <laughs> Look, knives are for cowards. Only thugs use weapons like that. All I need what I Oh. All I need for what I do is these fingers. I'm a professional, alright? Maybe not in your eyes, but I got pride in what I do. <laughs> uh, let me guess. You don't count smoke guns among weapons for thugs. Oh, this? Yeah, this was in a bag I lifted the other day. Oh, oh she stole God. it from <laughs> She stole it from Iris! <laughs> Down where they keep the four-wheel drags. It's nice, isn't it? I like the pink best. <laughs> <laughs> Do not wave that in my direction again! I have had quite enough of this! I need a drink. So, you admit that you were riding the omnibus on the night in question. Tis all right, lass. You can tell him the truth now. All right. Yeah, it's just like the Irishman said. Oof, Irish and Cockney back and forth. Gonna be a nightmare, okay? You can do it. You can do it. The court accepts this girl, Mr. As evidence. Strahd, as a valid and significant witness in this case. <laughs> Accordingly, young lady, we will now hear your testimony, if you please. Knife! She's so cute. She's so cute. I like her little buttons. <laughs> <laughs> you will tell the court exactly what happened in the omnibus on the night in question. All right, if I have to. Don't you hide your sooty little cheeks from me! Fuck you. <coughs> Fuck you, Gov. <laughs> <laughs> so I snuck inside the carriage before they looked up um, they hooked up the horses, just like always. But it was right but it was a right old waste of time. I got nothing to show for me troubles that night. I'll tell you, you can't see a blind thing in that hiding place. It's pitching there. Then after Gina Lestrade, are you a chav? <laughs> Then after a while, I heard this loud bang. Nearly jumped out my skin, I did. And the scream just came out. It's because of that this swell found me. He did help me get away, mind. Oof. God, also very hard to scan. Yes, he let you go. <clears throat> I fail to understand why you would let this street urchin go, Mr. McGilded. She's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> Oh, it is simplicity <laughs> itself, my lord. You see, she couldn't possibly have killed the other passenger. I knew that for a fact. I guess he was sitting on her the whole time. How? Yeah. As I'm sure I said before, sir. I was sitting right on top of the place where she was hiding herself. I think oh, I yes. Uh, demonstration, go sit. <laughs> this is where I was sat that night. And the cubby hole of which you have spoken is underneath the seat. Jesus, use your eyes, sir. Yeah, no, that looks like that comes out. Maybe. 
Hmm. Yes, it does appear just large enough to accommodate someone of the girl's stature. Aye, but of course, the wee lass was stuck in there, because I'd parked myself on the seat for the duration. Ah! So you see, that's why I let the lass bolt. I knew if the police found her there, they'd automatically assume she'd done it. Ah, but I couldn't live with myself if a young life was ruined when all the time I knew she was innocent. That's nice of him. Yeah. Oh. Even though you must have realized your action, action would result in your own innocence being called into question. <laughs> not at all, my lord. Not at all. Mm. I knew in my own heart that I was innocent. So I thought it was worth taking a punt on my own good name for the sake of this less fortunate lass. My goodness. What a perfect gentleman. My lord! This this fine example of a man cannot possibly be guilty of a heinous crime like this. Once now, now once again, I'm hoping he's guilty. <laughs> it's more interesting. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself for ever doubting you, sir. Bonk. A bonker. Huh? Passed down in Britain for generations. Clang. With calm, calculated reasoning, one arrives clearly at the truth every time. Bonk. That's all of them. Oh. Squid. Saints alive! All six members of the jury consensual in their leaning to a verdict of not guilty! My wig. Wig, sis. Mr. Narahodo, this. Well, it must mean. Shut up, Sif. I had a hamburger in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it must mean what? That we're victorious! We've won? Uh, are you Objection. sure? No. Objection. <laughs> <laughs> if the sight of my iron heeled Wellington off offends, pray do forgive the discourtesy. Oh, it offends greatly. I stick me leggy out real far. This really <laughs> is a consummate example of the one monumental flaw in British judicial practices. <laughs> where evidence and reasoning should be paramount, emotion rules the day. Emotion? He's not wrong. The witness's latest statement gives us a clear insight into his true I'm sorry, nature. does he have... Does he have spurs? <laughs> I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. jangle. <laughs> what do you mean, his true nature? <clears throat> do you really think Scotland Yard would have made such a glaring omission? After the incident, the omnibus was comprehensively searched by officers of the police. Obviously, the interior of the cubbyhole, as the witness put it, was included in their investigation. <clears throat> the compartment under the posterior seat was full of the coachman's belongings. Someone in chat! If my squatting on the judge's desk and taking a dump offends, forgive the discourtesy. <laughs> it's noted in black and white here in the police report. Good lord! The evidence has been tampered with. In order to corroborate Mr. McGilded's story, someone has unlawfully removed everything from under the seat. What? Wasn't it you? I thought it, you were the one investigating. It was you! You spilled your wine, you dumbass! <laughs> order! Order! Put him in handcuffs! How could such a devious contrivance possibly have been affected, Council? Ah, did someone need to slip someone else into handcuffs? Sloop? Naturally, we must acknowledge the defi defici oh, deficiencies. deficiencies. The deficiencies of the constabulary <laughs> in allowing this to have happened. I love the idea of him breaking character and just laughing like he's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> However, I assure you, when the omnibus was wheeled into the courtroom this morning, the compartment under the seat was not empty. Well. My Nipponese friend. Mm, me? When the carriage was submitted as evidence, doubtless you examined it in fine detail, as would any self-respecting practitioner of the law. Pray, what did you find the condition of the undersea compartment to be? Oh, to be sure. The young gentleman will be able to clear this up in a jiffy. 
sorry. Go ahead. Tell the court now, fella. How this is all an elaborate excuse by the desperate Lord Van Zeeks. Well, Council, do you have something to say on this matter? How am I supposed to answer? What can I say about the state? It was, it was not empty. Nope, it was not. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't know if giving this answer is helping my case as counsel for the defense, but as far as I remember at least. When I first examined the compartment, I'm fairly certain there were a number of articles inside it, yes. Yeah, are, are you sure, counsel? Or a bewitched! What are you saying now, you daft doll? I thought you were on my side here! Oh, well, mm -hmm. somebody planted it when they brought it in. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, like, even before anything started. It's the same answer as to why she was there before he even got in the carriage. Same thing over again. What game are you playing? Your task is uh, to the defend the man that stand. Why would you say something to compromise his position? As the advocate for the defense in this trial, I confess I'm still not entirely sure where I stand. But it seems to me that I should state what facts I do know as clearly and honestly as possible. Hmm. Interesting. Tis not altogether pleasing, fella. I'm simply telling the truth, Mr. McGilded. Well, don't forget that you're supposed to be representing my best interests here, lad. Now then. A fella's memory is a curious thing, and not altogether reliable, and only the court must consider the facts. That there cubby whore under the seat is as empty as a devil's heart, so it is. Do you think perhaps- oh, there's an- what's that H doing on my tink? <laughs> You're right! Do you think per I'm not really Irish, and when I get mad, I turn back into a Brit? <laughs> They'd, the British people would never let an Irishman have money in this era. <laughs> Do you think perhaps it would be in your best interest now to admit that you might have been mistaken? Why? Why do I feel like something's not right here? Mm, I should like the jury to weigh in on this matter, I think. Why? The compartment is designed to house equipment used to maintain the smooth running of the carriage. The guild's rules state that omnibuses should be properly and thoroughly equipped at all times, so it certainly wouldn't have been empty on the night in question. Beppo isn't that irresponsible. That money-lending fleecer and the pick purse are lying! Oh, well, that doesn't mean they're guilty, you prick. I don't like them! I've changed my mind! Uh I can't believe I was nearly taken in. The stinking rich are always stinkers. That are cowards, a lot of them. What? Well, he's right. It's a trick. Of course it's a trick. Where'd you knife, though? Up my butt. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Up me Buddha. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, quite so. I must concur here. You are worthless. Yes. But, you know, I'm the stenographer, so... With calm, calculated reasoning, one arrives clearly at the truth every time. Yes, but every time a different truth, it seems. My lord, I humbly exhibit the scales of justice. Clearly, a verdict of not guilty at this time would be... Wholly inappropriate. Uh, you don't need to point that out. Uh, thank you, Counsel, but before we proceed any further, there is the matter of the outstanding cross-examination. Just phenomenal cross-examination. I mm. beg to differ. Counsel, for the defense, begin your questioning of the witness, please. Yes, my lord. What just happened? The whole balance of the trial just shifted almost beyond recognition. The Reaper of the Bailey is at work, it would seem. Mm. I'm gonna finish these french fries real quick, because... Yeah, I'm gonna put my cup back in the kitchen. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
By the way, this testimony is where you press everything and then press another statement again. Thank you! That's the kind of shit I want you guys to spoil before I piss myself off. Ow. Thanks, Hub Bob. I, I hate that every time they do it, so... It, it, it is a weird thing to do, especially if it's not a reoccurring thing or one that's ever explained it's, as an option. It's okay if they add a new testimony or change one. It makes me mad if they don't. Yeah, I mean, that that's fine because it, like, signals something has changed. <laughs> <clears throat> so I snuck inside the carriage before they hooked up the horses. Just like, oh, okay, we've read this already. Noises, noises, noises. Do you like? I'm making noises with me face hole. <laughs> oh, so you were... Oh, great, it's one of these. Well, yeah. I mean, what's the point of spending a jelly to make a few bobs, eh? That's a wrong idea, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose what she... What are you saying? <laughs> I suppose she means there's no point spending money to make money. It actually makes sense. Council, may I remind you that this girl is a petty thief? Can they refrain from entertaining her tenants? Well, that does clear up the little mystery of the fares and all. Four paying passengers at five pence apiece, making the twenty to which the cabman testified, and one little scape grace riding for free. The red conk of a driver always goes for some grub before his last turn, I see. That's when I slip into the carriage and get myself hidden under the seat. Nice and easy, right? <laughs> Such a piece of shit, but, I like her. But your hiding place is a storage compartment full of equipment for the coach, no. Yeah, there's brushes and buckets and whatnot in there, sure. I always chuck that all out and cram it in a corner somewhere. No one ever seems to bother much. And yet, according to the report filed by the police officer who first arrived at the scene, the compartment was full of such paraphernalia. Well, I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing, you blimey shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just a hooting like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. Like I said, I moved all that stuff out so I could hide under the seat. That's all I can tell you. It seems we've reached the end of that line of inquiry. Continue. I inquiry? Inquiry. God damn it. No, inquiry. You were right. No, I was right. A waste of time. How so? Well... Most nights I'm on my own in a gold permit. Of what? In a gold permit, at least some of the time. I, I, I beg your pardon, did you say God permit? Oh yeah, I'm God. Well, that's what my kind call it. You'd say the omnibus, I suppose. The point is, any normal run, the carriage ain't got no one in it for a while. Oops. And that's why you come out of your hiding place, and that's when you come out of your hiding place and get free. That's it. Only that night, this cove was sat on me seat from the start, and he didn't budge a whole way, did he? Not one inch, I was totally stuck. Inch? Do you mean to tell us that you were present in the carriage for the duration? Do you mean 2.6 centimeters? <laughs> you were under the seat during the entire time while events unfolded in the enclosed cabin? Yeah. Right, mister. To be sure, to be sure. I was as shocked as anyone. You don't expect to lift the cushion you've been sat on and find a child now, do you? Unless you're a hen what hatched an egg. Hmm. <laughs> so this Miss Lestrade couldn't possibly be the culprit then. I didn't assume she was. Hold it! Hold it! So you couldn't see out into the cabin at all? Not a job. Most days I push the cushion up, the cushion up with me head and look out the crack. Then I can have a. <laughs> so weird to read for. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Then I can have a butcher's at home and a fiddle. I, I thought you were a pickpocket, not a butcher. I mean, I can have a look. The seat I get under ain't as plush as the other ones, see. So most of the time the passengers plant themselves opposite. Oh. But he said that the yeah. copier seat was the one. Okay, that's actually a contradiction then. But for some reason that night, this here Irishman spent the whole journey right over me head. And for that reason, you weren't able to push the cushion up just to peek out, I see. Truth is, I ain't too happy in small dark spaces. Feels too much like being thrown in the clink. 
But it's the only place to hide in them carriages, so it's Obson's choice. Why doesn't she just stick to picking people's pockets in the open then? I'd say Why this... doesn't she speak English? <laughs> oh, she speaks very <laughs> English. <laughs> That's the problem. It's oh. English too. <laughs> I'd say there's some reason that she's not letting <laughs> judging from her demeanor. So anyway, it's always a bit scared, but I had to just stick it out under there. Nothing else for it. Go back. Press. Press. When you say a loud bang, do you mean the noise of someone falling to the floor? Could have been, I suppose. I don't remember so well. The point is, it made me jump. And you let out a scream involuntarily. That's right. And I felt the cushion over me I'd get lighter all of a sudden. Presumably when the defendant got up in order to help the victim, yes. No, or oh, not. It could equally have been the moment the accused stood in order to stab his victim, could it not? Calm down, Van Zeeks. Well, no, girl, did you see what happened at that crucial moment? Um, eating some french fries. Yeah, I saw it. Mm. I pushed up the cushion and had a quick push. <laughs> Love the way she talks. I pushed up the cushion and had a quick butcher's while I had the chance, didn't I? The Irishman was sitting up the bloke what had fallen on the seat on on the floor on the seat on the seat on the floor. <laughs> that, that that's just that's Mr. McGilded's account, of course. Be a beat and you need But then the fella suddenly turns around and looks right at me. Oh, he knew she was there. It's a setup. I sunk back down again, but it was too late by then. I never should have risked looking. Hmm. Someone in chat. Gino kind of looks like what I picture Civ looks like in my head. <laughs> That's fair, I think. Mm -hmm. It's because of that this swell found me. Blah, blah, blah. Hold Press. It. Hold it. And when Mr. McGilded discovered you, he pulled you out from your hiding place. I was scared stiff I was. He dragged me out and sat me down on the seat and all. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the victim, Mr. Mason. Yeah. Bloke had a knife in his guts. He was still bleeding. And the carriage and then the carriage lurched a bit and he ended up falling onto me. Ah, how awful. Both me hands got covered Yeah, okay, that's that's consistent. Both me hands got covered in blood. Made me feel sick as a dog. Both her hands covered in blood. That must have been what the rooftop passengers saw. After that, I believed you talked with Mr. McGilded for a while, is that correct? He asked me some stuff. Wanted to know my name and what I was up to in that. And then I heard something from up above. Someone screamed. Yes! Yeah, yes, Mr. First. Uh, you know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess just, you, you have less characters right now, so just anyone Civ normally voices, yeah. you can, you can okay. grab. Never mind. Um, Sorry. Someone in Maybe. chat was like, Gina kind of looks like what I imagine Civ looks like, actually. <laughs> Well, I didn't want no one seeing my face, so I didn't look up. Then the horses were drawn up smartish, and this here Irishman says to me, Get back under the seat. I'll see that you can get away later. Hmm. All six members of the jury had decided the defendant was innocent. For one brief <clears throat> shining moment, yes. It's clear that they are all still very unsure. If we could just find some conclusive piece of evidence among this new testimony, I'm sure we could clinch the verdict we want. Yes, I think you're right. And I have this... Mm, I have this nagging feeling. I yeah. hate that word so much. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to be anywhere near those four letters in succession. Yeah. <laughs> Something's bothering me, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. Okay, press the third one now. Thank you. Normally I won't ask for this, but I don't like fumbling around in the dark. Okay. Uh, press. Not in the jot. Uh, butchers who I'm gonna fiddle. Thought you were a pick fucker, not a butcher. Have a look. British, 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 British. I feel like this just uses professions as uh, verbs. <laughs> well, no. Ooh, oh, that's what I sound like. That's interesting. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is something wrong, Mr. McGillian? 
Um, like, I guess so, Pagora. <laughs> I do apologize. Was there so <laughs> Was there something? Oh my god, ma it's that bitch, Pagora. <laughs> Ain't that the bitch with the Millennium Ring and Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna face these fries really quick so I don't have to keep doing this. Oh, and I got beggar! Oh my God, beggar! Be beggar sounds like a Godzilla monster. It does. Sakura. <laughs> it's like, it's like I guess it's similar to like Gamera and things mm -hmm. like that. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. That's a deep cut, Jello. I don't think it's that deep of a cut. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if Mr. St Miss Lestrade's last comment made something occur to you, perhaps. You seem to be thinking something to yourself. Oh, no, no, it was nothing important. Oh. I was feeling bad for the poor lass is all. I remember feeling desperate myself as a young lad shut up in the dark. Oh, were you in jail? It was terrifying, so it was. I see. Yes, I'm sure we can all sympathize. I'm still scared of the dark now. <laughs> I, and I don't know about yourself, but I find that the darkness seems to make everything you hear seem that much louder as well. I'm talking about me trauma loud in court. I didn't see what she said. Uh, Just I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I suppose it does. Nope, that's Irish. I suppose it does. Maybe. Miss Lestrade, did you hear something that night? Anything, an unusual noise, perhaps? Oh, from Dodger? Nah, not really. All I could hear was the Irishman snoring. But jabber! <laughs> you Dave the Barbarian over here! But jabbers, there's no need to tell the whole world of me foibles, you little scamp! Well, because there's one B, would it be bejabers? <laughs> <laughs> what a pity. <laughs> if only Mrs. Strahd had heard something. Had heard something, it might have given us a vital new clue. Yes. What should we make of that last... Uh, it's... It's profoundly important. Oh my god, my cat's doing something. Hold on. I'm my lord. Have... I believe the oh, statement just made by the witness is profoundly important. Someone highlighted a comment. I think it's pronounced bejabbers. You just typed the word we as as it's written. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. <laughs> oh, this is you right now, Will, because Siv's up. Profoundly important, but but all she said was that she heard nothing. Yes, which is the profoundly important part. I'm almost sure of it. Hmm. Jeez. I'm almost sure that I don't understand the inner workings of your no. mind, Council. Nevertheless, the instant Will takes over a character, time yep. to be a little racist. Just a, a squeaks out there. Miss yes. Gina Lestrade, you will supplement your formal testimony by repeating that last statement, please. What? Supplement? What are you on about? Don't give me all your fancy talk. I know what you're trying to do, but it won't work on me. That's right, insult the judge. Always a good move. She shot him. All I could hear was... <laughs> <laughs> All I could hear was snoring. Okay. Um... I'll press that again, just to check. So you were straining to hear what was happening the entire time? Since the moment you hid yourself? Um, not exactly, no. That's Irish again. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Oliver Twist, pickpocket, what, what? Well, there Big was... Ben. Oh, there was no... Big Ben bomb. There was no one in the cab... No, it's so difficult to get off of Irish. God damn... I was doing so well. Um, it's taking over! <laughs> it's there was no one in the cabin to start with. Start with? I could just push the, cu the cushion up and have a butchers to see what was what. But then... When I saw this swell getting on, I got my head down so he didn't notice me. And Mr. McGill did sat on the seat under which you were hiding, correct? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Would you Adam and Eve it, huh? What a mug. So that... Ooh. <laughs> so then all I could do was listen. I was waiting to jump out of there as soon as I had him leave, see? But would he? Not likely. 
Even though he stopped here and there, I never heard the door open. So I just had to stay put and listen to him driving his pigs to the market. Snoring like an old dog he was. Be nice to me. Hmm. <laughs> Are there any conclusions? It doesn't add up. I don't well, know. Well, I was Besnora. <laughs> oh, faith in Besnora. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Strutt, what you have just told the court is clearly at odds with the facts. Uh. At odds? Uh, are you sure, man? No. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. It seems my learned Japanese friend is not as dull-witted as I feared. I guess that's the nicest thing you've said to me. Yes. Counsel, I must insist that you bolster your claim with evidence or some complicit party's name, <laughs> at the very least. What is these snaps? Yes, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I expect you to demonstrate this alleged contradiction to the court. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Z-Snap. Another one of the finest innovations, available only in London. <laughs> According to Mr. Strahd, while she was hiding in the omnibus that night, she heard nothing but the sound of Mr. McGilded snoring. Think, Ryanosuke, think. Ow! <sighs> There's something else she should have heard. Oh, God. Okay, um... The... It could be... The guy screaming. No, but she was already out of the box when that happened, so it wasn't that. Um, it, oh, it would be the, the guy getting thing. in. The it, it would be the uh, oh. the dead guy getting in because um, mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. guy got on first. <sighs> Very well, my lord. Oh. Allow me to elaborate. Wow, it's rare. I'm the one who figures some. I'm so bad at Ace Attorney when I'm reading it aloud. <laughs> on a particular sound that Miss Lestrade could not have failed to hear on the night in question presence of the falling person. Where is he? There he is. I love this guy's design. Mr. <laughs> Pillow Hat. Oh. Well done, sir. Nice fire, Mason. Assuming I got it right. Uh, yes, my lord. The sound that Miss Lestrade cannot have failed to hear is that of the victim, Mr. Mason, boarding the omnibus. Yeah, nice. Way to go, dude. You're so done? far, the villain has always been a young blonde girl. I really Order! don't think Gina's the villain Order! of this case. Explain your reasoning, counsel! Miss Lestrade, allow me to confirm something. You claimed earlier that you were the first person on board the omnibus, is that correct? Yeah, of course I was. Got on while the driver was in the pub, didn't I? And the next person to board the omnibus was Mr. McGilded? That it was. Not a soul in the cabin when I climbed aboard. At least not in plain sight. So you were, to all intents and purposes, alone in the enclosed cabin of the omnibus at that time? Did I not just say as much? I wasn't travelling with anyone else, if that's what you mean. Yeah, I saw him get on, remember? Through the crack in, uh, under the seat cushion. He was on his own, for sure. And from what we've heard, the carriage made a number of stops after that on its onward journey. During which time, did you not hear the door opening or closing at all? No, I never heard it. That's exactly what I was listening for, weren't I? Waiting for this fucker to leave, didn't read it. In which case... Huh? When and how did the victim end up in the carriage? Ah, he was just under the other seat as a dead body. <laughs> we know the victim collapsed inside the enclosed cavern of the omnibus. Therefore, Miss Lestrade's statement about what she did or did not hear is at odds with the facts. <gasps> Someone in chat, we've solved it. It was teleporting aliens. Okay, Ryan Bergara. <laughs> <laughs> This petty thief's statement was clearly flawed. Lord Van Zykes, Zeke, Zook, so whatever. Yes, he knew. He knew all too well that there was an inconsistency in Miss Lestrade's statement. <laughs> it would seem words of thanks are in order for my learned friend. What are you talking about? You have demonstrated matters impeccably. This witness and her colorful statements are entirely unreliable her words are convenient untruths nothing more he's yelling he's dead right how could a victim possibly blah, 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 blah. and this girl is a pickpocket let's not forget that killer i'm old guilty i hate the youth 
But if I were able to consume her youth, perhaps I'll be young again. What? <laughs> she, she didn't even say anything. I didn't want to touch the dear little mite just because she has some rather naughty ways. But I must say, to shreds, you say. <laughs> I can't abide liars. <laughs> and neither can I. M Mr. Foreman. I didn't want to judge the girl just because she was some less than salubrious ways. Ooh, that's an Ooh. Aram word. I cannot abide liars. I love liars. Innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Double innocent. <laughs> Mr. Narahodo, that's five jury members leaning towards guilty. Mm, oh my god, shame. I just noticed he's got fucking Grim Reapers on his wine. <laughs> well, your consideration for others is refreshing, my Japanese friend. To the considerable troubles you have spared me. Yes, very refreshing. Oh! What are you playing at? Have you forgotten who you're working for, you useless? I don't know if that's a word I can say. Eastern something? This. this. <laughs> no, that's me. Get out of here. <laughs> what the fuck? This is Zale. This is carnage. It's perfect. <laughs> Jera number two is the only one left. Mr. Narahodo, the way this is going. It just means Japanese. Okay. I yeah, know. From Nipponese. I'm just like, no, I, I, no, just like, I don't know. Um, oh. I know. If he can't find some new way to convince everyone of Mr. McGilded's innocence, the judge will rule and will have lost. I very much wanted to believe the words of one of London's most respected gentlemen, but those of us in service know we must accept hard truths. Eat the rich. Hold it! No, no, let me, please. Oh, it just means idiot in Gaelic. Okay. Cool. Yes, the witness's last statement seems to have revealed a critical inconsistency in her story. However, if we consider the possibility that her statement is, in fact, the truth, it may shed an entirely new light on this whole case. What are you saying? Council? I'm sorry, sir. Whatever do you mean? Council, I will not tolerate you attempting to prorogue my education sentence. Explain yourself at once. <clears throat> when the accused boarded the omnibus on the night in question, the victim was nowhere to be seen. Subsequently, the carriage door was not heard opening a single time, as testified by the witness in the stand. And yet the victim's body was found inside the carriage? Did he come in through the skylight? If this petty thief's words are to be believed, how do you explain the victim's miraculous appearance inside the cabin of the omnibus? There's only one way to explain how the victim came to be inside the carriage. Um, put there after he died. I honestly could, I would believe it could be any of these. Um, there's another entrance feels weird. Like, I feel like it's he was in there already, right? Yeah, because I, I feel like we would have seen another way in. Because, like, if, if we examined the skylight, I feel like it would have told us, oh, this could move. There's no way to open the skylight. It, it did tell us that. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I, is, is there only one seat? Under, like, one cubby. Yeah, I think there's only one cubby. Yeah. Because if there's two cubbies, he could have gotten in from the bottom. He can walk through walls. Let's take a look. He was put there after he died. Doesn't really make any sense. This doesn't open, right? We checked. Yeah. No. It can't be open no, from inside the cabin, at least. He could have hopped in from outside, yeah, if there's a latch. Oh. There is, it There looks is a like. latch. Oh. That is sneaky. That, it's weird that we, it doesn't say it, but there is pretty clearly a latch. So yeah. I'm going to say he came in another way. 
Okay. Alucard. Or you just you... shit on the side of the bed. Okay. I'm gonna say he got in the other way. Yeah, I think that's fair. If the door wasn't opened even once, the only explanation is that the victim entered the enclosed cabin some other way. Objection. I wondered what new fantasy you would come up with in your blind panic. But behold, the omnibus is here for all to see. Only one side of the enclosed cabin is furnished with a door. The other has only windows, fixed windows, which cannot possibly open. In short, there is no entrance to the cabin other than the door. Objection. But there could be. There's one possibility you haven't considered. Oh, really? Yes. Only uh, one other way inside that isn't the door. Another opening, the use of which allowed the victim to appear inside the closed cabin. <sighs> All right, counsel. The defense will identify the location to the court. Here's the omnibus. Yeah. Give us the juice. <laughs> Give us the juice. <clears throat> the answer is obvious. It can only have been the skylight. I said the skylight? It's, no, it's, I said it. it <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a small thing, but the reason I think that Ace Attorney 5, 6, and so far this one are so much better than the first three Ace Attorney, first four, but especially the first three in terms of their actual gameplay is they're really good at subtly directing you to the correct shit. So like little things like, it can't be opened from the inside at least. So like if your yeah. brain is to the left of the right answer, it's like, oh, okay. And they're very, like dual destinies might be a little too easy, but so far this game is pretty fair. And I think uh, Spirit of Justice is like the perfect difficulty level. And I appreciate that. Objection. Your ludicrous proposal almost has me lost for words. However, hey! The skylight may well be large enough for someone to pass through. Objection! So you claim. But do you have a shred of evidence to support your atom-brained theory? No. Both Mr. Uh. LeGilded and Miss Lestrade said the exact same thing, oh, said the same thing in their testimonies. They each claimed to have heard a loud thud such as the noise made by someone falling to the floor. The murderer was Beppo. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, okay. This is actually very cool now. I like this. Mm -hmm. Yes, which adequately has been explained. We got it. As the sound of the victim falling from his seat, having been assaulted with the dagger. All right. So maybe it is the uh, first guy. Yes, it has. But would a man slipping from the seat onto the floor really have made such a loud noise as the witnesses describe? A noise loud enough to cause Miss Lestrade to let out an involuntary cry, in fact. Good, good gracious. Perhaps, in fact, that was the moment that the victim made his entrance into the cabin. Uh, no, let me rephrase that. The victim didn't enter the cabin as such. He fell into it. Onto a knife. <laughs> You're now suggesting that the victim fell from the skylight into the cabin? That's simply impossible. How can you be so sure? Because if the victim had fallen inside through the skylight, as you said, someone said a bebo is cold, cold blooded. <laughs> <laughs> the passengers on the roof deck would have seen it happen. Wait, oh, and yet not one person made mention of such events in their testimony. Well, um, yes, that's true, but okay. Might I introduce the concept of lying? Might <laughs> a humble fella make a wee comment here? Uh, Mr. McGilded? Yeah. <laughs> to be sure now, the two fellas who were sat on the roof that testified afore said not another victim falling through the skylight. But it seems to me, my lord, it is, uh, that is not so much a case of them not saying, but I... Tis a case of them being unable to say. It's the same what? as the first case. It's two random schmuck fuckers in the background doing all the bad shit. I think perhaps the two fellas 
do be having something of a compelling reason not to mention what happened. Would you not agree, fine ladies and gentlemen of the jury? <coughs> oh my, my goodness, surely not! Those two chaps on the roof? <laughs> you mean the ones who stuck that knife in the man were... Oh! Just what exactly are you insinuating here, you, you blitherer? You rotten! What are you insinuating? Oh my god! This is a flaming outrage! I have a good mind to give you a blinker in a minute. If there are two men who are hatters in your town, and one of them has a terrible hat on, which hatter do you go to? You see, it's the one with the bad hat, for the other hatter must be making his hat. I can't get over this fucking animation! What in what the fuck is, is this? I love it. Is he, like, rearing up for a fight? <laughs> He'll give you a shiner in a minute, he said, and so will I! <laughs> Mr. Fairplay! You're effectively accusing me, a city gentleman and well-respected banker! And me, a, a very angry hatter! <laughs> Someone said... He, Bruce Fairplay is an Aussie. You guys keep saying that, and there's like no evidence or mention of that anywhere. Suggesting that someone like me could have stabbed that man in the guts. It's... it's... It's a disgrace! It's scandalous! It's... I protest! I protest in the strongest possible terms! That's right! I protest too! About you, you rotten scoundrel! Come on, get you. Oh, I'm stuck now. I love these farts! This is a great case. Order! 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 This is not the time, witnesses! I will not permit this wanton invasion of the stand! Return to the anteroom at once! What is beyond reason, my lord? Oh, it's outrageous! It's, it's very hurtful, you know. My lord, if I may comment. Go ahead, Lord Van Zykes. It was the defense that incited this outburst from the witnesses. My learned friend has seen fit to abandon all protocol and accuse the witnesses without proof. A accuse? I never intended to... It seems, young Nipponese, that your command of the English tongue is wanting. You propose to this court that the victim fell through the skylight from the roof deck of the omnibus. That hypothesis cannot possibly stand without the rooftop passengers being aware of these events. Someone says, if you press him at some point, he explains he's a Londoner who spent a while in Australia. Okay, so he wouldn't have an Australian accent because he didn't grow up there. Yeah. You have branded these gentlemen liars. You have intimate. You've intimate. You did a bad. In all British courts of law, that is what it is termed as baseless accusation. I know I was rash to put this idea forward without any actual evidence, but you can't just dismiss it without a second thought. What are we wasting time for? Get them to testify! <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was something fishy about that hat from the moment I laid eyes on that fellow. God, these people are fucking sheep. Yeah, I mean, that feels accurate. We have to see this matter through now, one way or another. If there's filth and rubbish in our midst, we must dispose of it at once. Testify! 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 Oh, what's happening, Mr. Naruto? The spectators in the public gallery are... They're in a complete frenzy. Mr. Fairplay and Mr. First. Um, my lord. Where are you looking? I'm right up here. You... Oh, where are you? Hello? Where am I? <laughs> Listen to the sound of my voice, young man. Come over here. Is that a... <clears throat> Sugar cube, just for you, my boy. You will take the stand again and make another formal testimony in reference to the indictment brought by the defense! Um, yes, my lord. Please, 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 over here. I, I didn't come here for this. <laughs> There's no time to think this through. All I can do is keep pushing forward.
This is actually. We were the only. Yeah, we were the only two people up on that roof deck, dead or alive. I can swear that. If anything had happened where we were sitting, don't you think one of the uh, uh, we would have saw it? In any case, neither of us know the first thing about the victim. We had no reason to kill the man. It's probably that one. The skylight was shut the entire time, I tell you. We couldn't possibly have opened it. If you're so sure the victim fell through the skylight, where's your proof? Hmm, I must say that on listening to this nonsense, it is somewhat hard to imagine how either witness could have performed any malevolent act upon this rooftop deck without the other noticing forthwith. Well, one is partially blind, apparently. That's right, you see. Her innocent, I tell you! Although logically, of course, the argument falls down in the two if the two of you were in collusion with one another. What? <laughs> According to investigations by Scotland Yard, the two witnesses share no common dealings. <laughs> well, I don't trust coppers any more than I trust the stinking rich. Give me a second, I'm going to screen cap this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy's the best character, by the way. <laughs> so fucking good. It's really good for juror number three. <laughs> based, based juror three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Sorry, someone messaged me. Okay. Okay. Something doesn't feel right here. The trial is going in our favor, really. So, why do I feel so uneasy? Counsel for the defense, over to you. Your cross-examination, please. Uh, real quick, I need to check an email. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime I hear or like do the oof noise, I just envision like some Dragon Ball Z characters punching Mario right in the stomach. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes, my lord. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you could be framing the Irish guy because uh, you've got you're indebted to him, but yeah. mm -hmm. I don't. I feel like I might be a half a step too far ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. And then this one also feels like the kind of thing they write when that's the one you're supposed to pr uh, press contradiction. But I'll go through these. Let's see. Can you open the skylight? Are you quite certain about that? That the skylight was shut the entire time. I'm going to lose my block with you in a minute. <laughs> He's going to lose his rag with you in a minute. That's what he said. Take a look at yourself. Go on. There's a latch right there. You see? It shut fast now, there, just mate, like it was there, on there, that mate, night. Mate, look, there's a latch right there, though. So it is. Of course, a fellow the size of Mr. Mason could likely break right through it, still and all. What? Just looking at the size of the thing, you understand. Now you hold on there a minute, sir. The size of the ting means nothing. <laughs> Not on its own. Let's consider the bigger picture here, shall we? Let's stop biting our cane, shall we? <laughs> I, I was riding the omnibus on another occasion when, um, <laughs> well, I, I tooted loudly. I shocked myself with it as it happens. I screamed. <laughs> This is an unexpected confession, Mr. First. Oh, uh, I just mean to say, well, the point is, I tried to open the skylight, you see. But just my luck, I couldn't make it budge. The stench was terrible. Everyone was looking daggers at me, sir. I went as red as a rogue, I did. Oh, what did he say? I missed that. Yeah. 
Are you expecting me to sentence me? Guilty for fart! <laughs> oh, God! Uh, no, no, sir, the point is... Capital punishment for farting. <laughs> the skylight can't be up. Uh, someone made a noise. Oh, Gina, fart. I think, made a noise. Uh, I tried to click over to the right. Some... Uh, so, so sorry, I, I, gotta, I gotta loop back through that one. <laughs> My bad. Game definitely wasn't made for a keyboard. Also, someone earlier was like, Oh, Jello, you can quick skip through right click. No, you fucking can't. <laughs> People who say mint mint ice cream tastes like toothpaste can't don't brush their teeth, cause no to fuck it don't. <laughs> tastes bad. Over. There we go. Ooh! Someone farted, he did! <laughs> I'm in the clear! <laughs> Do you have something to say about that, Miss Lestrade? Miss Lestrade. It opens. Hmm? The skylight. That's what we're talking about, right? Is anyone going to stop her? Are we not going to stop this? All them skylights open. Dead easy. More easily than you can load that weapon. That's a lie, I tell you. Otherwise, when I, I, I tooted, I... I... <laughs> you can't do it from inside, you mug. Oh! What a weird design. Look, a few weeks ago, I was up in the roof deck of one of them drags. And I had a great hole. I mean, I had purses coming out of my ears. Miss Lestrade, this is not the form to be eulogizing on the subject of your criminal activities. Well, anyway, I had a bit of a scare. When I lifted the last bloke's purse, he got wise to me. All four of them surrounded me, so I couldn't hop off the boss and leg it. So what I did was, I used a skylight, opened the hatch and jumped right through. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, catch for them skylights on the top side. That's why you can't open them from the cabin. The skylight opens from the roof deck. Bailiff! Climb up to the roof! Check it out, boy! Bailiff, do a little monkey dance for us. All right then, sir. <laughs> Is that ah, good? Splendid! Splendid! Uh, oh, fuck, it does open wow, really easily, actually. Ah! My hat! As a hatter, I believe hats are God. See? <laughs> God, I love her design. They went really so good. hard with the designs in this game, and they didn't need order, to. Order, order, order. Oh, so it appears that this street girl's statement is quite true. I don't believe it. The skylight opens, and from the roof deck. Mr. Nodohodo, this could be the clue we've been looking for. Well, counsel Whoa. for the defense, please con Sorry, please <laughs> continue with the cross-examination. Yes, my lord. So you the told me to turn my gain up. It wasn't your gain, it was just like a, a Discord spike. So it went oh. like all the way. Um, so the skylight opens. Perhaps I should investigate for myself. Hint. Okay. No. Rap, rap, rap. Oh my god. Right. Boop, 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 boop. Ba, 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 ba. We need to have dialogue to open this for some reason. Ba, da, da. I'm like, okay, just holding it, it's like the same speed as rapid clicking it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Also, I don't know why I walked inside. Yep, this door opens from the outside. What's going on in here? Hey. Bonk. It's like an Animal Crossing character. You can certainly see inside the carriage through this opening, that's for sure. Yes, and there's a lamp in this enclosed cabin, so I'm sure the witnesses would have been able to see quite clearly. That's not good for us. All right, I think that was actually just... Okay. Uh... Oh, oh, there we go. I wish you could zoom into the roof. 
Oh, sneaky. Yeah, yeah, I know, guys. Maybe, can you? Oh, maybe now that it's open, you go inside. Go to inside. Look up at it? That's a little cumbersome, but you're probably right. I hope it doesn't like reset. That'd be stupid. It shouldn't. Oh yay! <laughs> yes, guys, it does open very wide enough. Wide enough to kick someone like you through, certainly, Mr. Naruto. Why someone like me? Because you're petite. What is it? Look, just here, look at this. That was strange. That what is it had a hyphen instead of the weird, like, staggered comma they do. Huh, okay. That's without question. It's blood. Why would there be a blood stain here? Surely it can't be related to the case, can it? Hosunaga just slugs over. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> All right. It's a bloody. <laughs> All right. Would you stop that? Oh, just just making sure you know I'll tip sometimes. No, god damn it! I'm so dumb. So what I meant when I said a skip is none of this, like a hard skip back to the testimony. I mean, that is pretty fast, though. That's yeah. fast enough. Yeah, that was fast because there's no animations. But with these guys, they're constantly switching up the animations. And it's like, just give me a start button. Okay, here we go. Objection. Hey. On the night in question... The victim was fatally stabbed in the stomach, and immediately afterwards, the victim's body was pushed through the skylight into the cabin below. Those are the facts, and irrefutable proof. Oh, irrefutable proof. Remains clearly visible in the omnibus that stands before us today in this very courtroom. What? That's... that's utter humbug! Oh, you can't possibly have any evidence! I ate it all, like my cane! No, you, you can't! I, I mean, we, we didn't do it, I tell you. It's impossible. Irrefutable proof here in this courtroom. It's more likely than you might think. Mm. That's all. My lord? I believe everyone would appreciate a little clarification here. Hmm? Well, then don't interrupt me. Uh, where exactly within the omnibus is the evidence to which you allude? You will point out what it is. Show us the stinky. Oh, God, so weird. There it is. Uh, yeah, God, come on, guys. <laughs> got it. Got it. By Jove! Is that... You can say Jupiter, it's a planet. I, I know! <laughs> <laughs> to be silly. Blood! Arg! This blood stain proves two things. Blah. Firstly, <laughs> when the incident occurred, the skylight of the omnibus was open. What? And secondly, the victim was already bleeding when he fell through the opening. Oh my! And so it follows that Mr. McGilded, who was inside the enclosed cabin himself at the time, cannot possibly be guilty of this crime. <laughs> No! Order! 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 But, 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 Toot. but the blood could have been sprayed up from when the fellow was stabbed inside the cabin. Fuck you. And only found <laughs> its way to that one particular spot in the skylight? Sure, and that would be very convenient. <laughs> uh. And let's keep it in mind that the skylight catch can only be unfastened from the roof deck. I myself wouldn't have been able to open it now, would I? But, 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 there's no way to know for certain, is there? If the gem really fell through the skylight, I mean. Uh, since you're voicing these guys more than Suzato, I do think you can turn your game back down a little. 
Why don't you have a good look at the floor of the cabin between the two seats, Mr. First? Yeah, that was there before. Tis or too plain, if you see. There's the aftermath that shows a poor fella drop from a fair height right there, so it does. What? No! But, but it can't be! It, it's all lies! My fellow jury members, I think we could all agree that this is clear proof of the defendant's innocence, can't we? I believe we can, yes sir. It's clear to me now where the filthy rubbish can be found in this courtroom. I'm the rubbish! So, they thought they could pull the wool over my eyes, did they? Hmm. I won't tolerate any of the guild's carriages being sullied with blood. I won't tolerate it! Oh, I always knew that nice gentleman who gave us that delightful park couldn't have done such a thing. McGilded is just sitting there etching these faces into his memory, going like, I remember He's you boring. fair weather fucks, so I will ruin mm -hmm. you. On three then, everyone. One, two, Four. three! Objection. Objection. A chilling performance, Mr. McGilded. Oh, and what would you be referring to there now, Lord Van Zeeks? Oops, sorry. Uh, a blood stain on the frame of the skylight. Such evidence is null and void. What? Why? For one extremely simple reason. That smear of blood never existed! What, what are you talking about? It's there for all to see, and it's, it's clearly blood. I personally attended Scotland Yard's investigation of the omnibus. The officers involved went over the carriage with a fine tooth comb. So I can state with absolute surety. No such smear of blood existed in the carriage. At least, not until this trial began. But... Are you suggesting, Lord Van Zeeks, that the stain of blood was... Fabricated, my lord. Yes. And while this court has been in session... What?! Fuck! Bugger. <laughs> what a palaver. I must say I didn't expect such crude reasoning coming from a prosecutor of your standing, Lord Van Zeeks. <sighs> but I'm Magnus McGilded. A fellow known all over the capital for his fine contributions to public life. I don't take kindly to slander, and I'll fight it to the bitter end. Even if it's rolling off the tongue of the Reaper of the Bailey. Mr. McGilded, I realise that this is your first appearance in court as the accused. However, I am well aware of your involvement behind the scenes in a great many affairs of dubious nature. You're very adept when it comes to avoiding getting your own hands dirty. And each time it happens that a case you're involved in is investigated, you adapt the facts. Adapt the facts? What does that mean? He, he got Gina to do it during the smoke. Yeah. When you wield a fortune the size of Mr. McGilded's, however ill-gotten it may be, nothing is impossible. Tampering with evidence, manipulating the scene of a crime, bribing witnesses. I toast your ability to concoct the most convenient of stories, sir. Tut tut, Lord Van Zeeks. This will not do, to be sure. Will it now, counsel? Uh, uh, oh, no. I think it's fair to say, this does all sound like a rather far-fetched excuse by a desperate man. The blood on the skylight didn't exist, you say. In chat, how fucking drunk is Van Zeeks right now? <laughs> but, if yous will all cast your minds back, is it not true that the omnibus there has been in court in the courtroom the entire time? How could anyone possibly have put a smear of blood in it with the wor uh, without the world and his wife seeing? <laughs> Isn't that right now, counsel? It's true. It has been in full view, fuck. My learned friend. Here's to hearing your opinion on this matter in your own words. As you wish. Could someone have tampered no, with the omnibus? Prosecutor, it's shit 
Yes. That was a smoke bomb. As a defense lawyer, it's my job to advocate for the defendant as best I can. Yes, but if you're a good person, you want a guilty person to get a, to get the verdict, so... But still, I feel as though there's something even more important at stake here. There is no evidence to suggest that the defendant did as my learned friend suggests. My learned friend is the most condescending, <laughs> like... It's, it's yeah. so rude. However, my learned friend. Derogatory. Derogatory. <laughs> In terms of having the opportunity to carry out the alleged tampering, there is one possibility. Oh, good gracious! Explain yourself, Council! Yes, there is. It seems my learned Nipponese friend has no intention of running from this deceit. Oh! Uh, I'm sure everyone still remembers clearly the recess that we were forced to take. As the result of the smoke grenade fired by the witness currently in the stand, Miss Gina Lestrade. Bang. Smook. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bang laugh! Ah. <laughs> Inhales the smoke. The courtroom was filled with smoke, and everyone was thrown into confusion. All of us were made to leave this chamber. In that brief interval, under the veil of smoke and in all the chaos, it could have been possible to steal inside the omnibus. Don't point at me. Oh, sorry. Are you wise? What are you trying to pull, you rotten feckless gouger? F feckless gouger? You're supposed to be defending me! Tis a wicked plot! Tis a plot to undermine me, so it is! Objection! Whatever you think this is, it changes nothing. The facts are the same. <sighs> After this courtroom was evacuated earlier as a result of the smoke grenade, a number of inconsistencies materialized in relation to the omnibus. Inconsistencies, such as? To start with, the storage compartment underneath the rear passenger seat. When the police investigated the omnibus, this compartment was full of driver's items. Secondly, we have the smear of blood on the edge of the skylight. As I have said, that was not present at the start of the trial this morning. Mm, unfortunately, Lord Van Zeeks. No one is able to corroborate your claims. Couldn't we bring in one of the d investigators? <laughs> Too far! Uh, what? That's true. When the omnibus was first wheeled out, both the storage compartment and the skylight was shut. You l I mean, we looked in it, but... Accordingly, I'm afraid to say we cannot establish with any certainty if this evidence is the result of tampering or not. Indeed, my lord. No doubt. There was not a single person who saw fit to verify such things. What do you think? Sorry. About the omnibus? Is there anything else unusual about the omnibus? Yeah, that blood patch on the floor. My lord. Yes, counsel. There is one further inconsistency. A mark that surely could not have been present at the start of the trial. What in the oh. devil's name are you going to say now? If, if you dare to betray me, you would. Objection. Silence, McGilded. The court awaits the defense's clarification. Arr. This trial keeps swinging one way and then the other. I have no idea what's the truth and what's deception. What am I supposed to believe here? I shall have to ask you to elaborate, counsel. Where is the stinky? Yeah, this wasn't here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oops. Did he throw the glass? Did I miss it? That would be so fun. He threw the glass into a torch. Uh, oh, if we, yeah. If we consider that the victim fell through the skylight onto the floor of the cabin, you would certainly expect to find signs of blood where he landed. But as far as I recall, this blood stain on the cabin floor was not there when the omnibus was first brought into the courtroom. Good lord! <laughs> 
Yes, I do believe you're correct, Counsel. Hmm, well said. Although, as advocate for the defense, might say that was a very careless slip of the tongue. I'm literally helping you. I believe the blood stain on the floor is a decisive piece of evidence. But if the question is whether that evidence is genuine, or whether it was unlawfully fabricated by someone, I feel compelled to admit that there's at least a possibility that the evidence is fake. I like Nara Hodo. Mem memories. <laughs> like the corners of my- <laughs> This trial is over. Mr. McGilded, I've done everything I can possibly, uh, I possibly can to cooperate with the court, but tis all over now. But, but you're the defendant. Tis over, I tell ya! Uh, memory. Recollection. What people think they saw, tis all a nonsense. Facts are what counts, and the fact is, that bloodstain is there! Now! Uh, well... And over the course of this desperate trial, long and extremely drawn out as it has been, that good-for-nothing Reaper of the Bailey has failed to present any decisive evidence at all! Mm. I'm scandalized, so I am. I'd thought better of Lord Van Zix. Well, my lord! My learned lord! Calm down, little man. I must concur with the defendant. The unaffirmed recollections of an individual cannot stand as evidence. At this moment in time, the particular blood state, <clears throat> the particular bloody in question is very much in existence. And in the absence of any credible method by which to prove its alleged previous non-existence, I regret to say that it would be improper for this trial to continue. I just realized this judge has like an asymmetrical little side ponytail on, oh, on the yeah. right there. Aww. Yeah, you it's can see what he... It's because it, the wig is lopsided. Oh. <laughs> your, your lordship can't be serious. Lord Van Zeex, what is your position? The prosecution, my lord, is sloshed. Has no further <laughs> witnesses or evidence to present. Very well. In that case, as I believe we have explored every possible avenue in this situation, I shall proceed to my adjudication. As a formality, I am of course obliged to confirm with the defense first. What formality? As it, as it, oh, oh, fuck. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Where things stand at the moment, it seems that Mr. McGilded will be found not guilty. Yes. Which would mean we've won. Is that really the right outcome here? Is it really all right for the trial to come to an end now, with all these unexplained inconsistencies? Counsel for the defense, your closing statement, please. Yes, my lord. The defense believes... <laughs> I really want to. This is really interesting. Yeah, this is a great case. I am here in this courtroom today to advocate for the defense of my client, Mr. McGilded. However, at this moment in time, I cannot in all good conscience attest fully to the defendant's innocence. What are you saying, man? Without any question, there is no conclusive evidence to prove that the defendant is guilty. However, there is also no conclusive evidence to prove that he is innocent. Good, good gracious me! I like you a lot. What? 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 Not you. What? What? This, this is unprecedented behavior, counsel. A defense lawyer calling the accused innocence into question. Are you sound of mind? <laughs> <laughs> What? You can't hear oh, me? Oh, Discord just ate you. Because oh. it was it was loud, so. <laughs> oh, it was a grand decision to appoint you as my lawyer, so it was. A grand decision. What? <laughs> I must yeah. say, I didn't expect quite an exciting spectacle at the end there, but still. Here, have this for your troubles. Uh, <laughs> Gina starts grabbing them off the ground. <laughs> your job is done here, fella. And some fine work you done, so you have. Uh, what, what do you mean? 
Oh, shit, didn't see whatever that was. Tis just as the right honourable gentleman so succinctly put it afore. The trial can't go on any more. And your closing statement there was, uh, how did he put it now? Uh, nothing more than a formality. <laughs> Innocent! <laughs> now I know the laugh of a good guy when I hear one. <laughs> I, I really don't know what to make of all this. Was the evidence we've seen genuine, or was it a fake? His lordship would be fuming. Any unsightly rubbish should be disposed of properly, as I said. <laughs> the stinking rich are always guilty of something. You, I didn't mark my words. The part of my desk fell off. I'll figure out what the fuck that is later. <laughs> oh no! I feel terribly ashamed that I ever doubted that lovely man who gave us the lovely part. Well, um, what the I'm, fuck, y'all? I'm hoping uh, Sherlock comes in. Austin, I have evidence! I am compelled to declare a premature end to this trial. Furthermore, the court must accept the defendant's plea. I thank you kindly, my lord. I hereby pronounce the verdict of this court. Objection! But but we still haven't determined if the blood stain in the omnibus is genuine or not. We don't know if these witnesses are telling the truth or a pack of lies. We have no idea about the truth. Lord Van Zeeks. My lord. The case made by the prosecution was flawed, plain and simple. Hmm. If indeed the omnibus presented as evidence was tampered with, the prosecution is at fault for allowing such a disgraceful perversion of justice to take place. My sincerest apologies, my lord. Objection! But wait! When we were evacuated from the court when Lord Vlanzeeks ordered the evidence to be secured. I'm afraid the prosecution cannot shun responsibility in this matter. That's so unfair! The culpability of the defendant has not, at the present time, been established by this court. Consequently, the jury will not be required to proffer judgment. What? Well, Lord Van Zeeks, it's been a pleasure, so it has. And as for you, my dear fella, I couldn't have asked for a better defence. <coughs> Do you mean to tell me this has all been a grand waste of time? Tis the law of the land, my good man. If you'd like to pursue this matter further, you can always go ahead and try to change the law. Mm, Magnus McGilded. Good grief! You've more to say to me, have you? Just one thing. A warning. This is far from over. Well, something to look, something to be looking forward to then. <laughs> what an evil little man. I hereby pronounce the defendant, Mr. Magnus McGilded, not guilty. Fun. Interesting. <laughs> Who the fuck is setting that up? Gina, yeah. stop! Yeah. <laughs> I love that no one is happy with this. I can't believe it. This is an outrage. They should have examined all the evidence. What are you talking about? The man's been clearly bad. <laughs> with the courtroom in pandemonium for the second time that day, the judge delivered his verdict. And my first ever trial in Great Britain came to an abrupt end, with the defendant being found not guilty. Ostensibly a victory for us. It's cool to see you being noticeably impressed by the overall writing, lol. I like most Ace Attorney games, it's just that the spin-offs are dog shit. I mean, for me, I've only seen the spin-offs, and yeah. so for me, I'm like, this is amazing. 
That certainly was a long trial. Uh, yes, it was. Your first ever trial on foreign soil, and your first victory. It was a wonderful performance. My heartfelt congratulations. And to you, Miss Susato. Thank you for your assistance. I, I suppose we should be happy. The trouble is, we're still completely in the dark about what actually happened. Well, we didn't have enough time. But isn't it wrong? I mean, who was actually responsible for Mr. Mason's death? We don't even know that. The sole aim of the defense is to obtain a verdict that exonerates the defendant. You carried out your duty to perfection. Aye, that you did. Mr. McGilded. Ah, and that girl is with him too. Well, it seems the stories are true. Oh, what stories? About the six enormous fireworks they do be letting off when there's a verdict of not guilty. I'm sure you must have seen them now. Spectacular, wouldn't you say? Yes, definitely. I'd heard it was a sight to be sold, and to be sure it was. And I've you to thank, I suppose, for having an opportunity to see it. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I'm evil! I'm not really sorry. I'm not sure I really did anything. What on earth are you saying, fella? How did I walk out of there a free man, then? I don't think that was so much thanks to me as down to your planning. <laughs> You're a straight-talking feller, aren't you? I must say, you had me astray in the head there once or twice. But you're young and headstrong! <laughs> that is water under the bridge. Congratulations, Mr. McGilted, on having your name cleared. But nothing's resolved. <sighs> There's only one thing that matters to me. Oh? Aye. They've all seen that I didn't do that odious and ab- Oh, they've all seen that I didn't do that odious and abstinent deed. Tis grand, is it not? I suppose it is. Now the fine fellows of Scotland Yard can take matters in hand and sort out any wee details. They'll see it for what it is. They'll get to the truth. <laughs> I've absolute faith in them, so I have. After all... I do be providing a good number of their wages with all the taxes I pay. <laughs> it's not that funny. So then, as we agreed aforehand, 1,000 guineas for your trouble, fella. Oh, oh uh, no, no, I, I couldn't possibly accept that much. Arab, Arab, be waste. You're a humble people, are you? You from the, uh, you're a humble people, are you? You from the East? Well, if you insist. But have this, still and all, you deserve a reward. Magnus McGilded? Yeah. Every Die. Everything is ready, sir. If you'd like to follow me into the courtroom. Into the courtroom? What's this, officer? Tis sooner than I was led to believe. I hope it's not inconvenient, sir, but there were some changes to the schedule. Come in and check! Bailiff, whack his pee-pee! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I must. Uh, well, I must be making tracks now. Tis time for the inspection. Sorry, what inspection? They're going to examine the omnibus again, so I'm told. I asked if I could be present for it myself. Uh huh. They're going to examine it again. Now? <laughs> Naturally, I'm under no obligation to take part in any more of this matter now. But as an upstanding member of London society, I do be doing my best to help where I can. Tis a gentleman's duty, so it is. So then, fare thee well. Twas an absolute pleasure meeting you. Guys, we got horn swaggled. I hope you have a whale of a time while you're studying here in Great Britain. We've been speckledorfed. That's not even a word, and I agree with you. <laughs> and there he goes, a free man. Speckledorf is a shiny Ganondorf. Oh, yes. I. That's very funny. I forgot she was here too. Oh no, someone stop her! If only we had time! <laughs> Don't move! Oh, whereas I want to say, get a move on. She really does take forever to load that thing. Miss Lestrade, would you mind putting that thing down? You're a grown- <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't- what's all this then? What's all this then? You're a grown-up. Sorry. And I ate all grown-ups. <laughs> You're 17, girl. 
No, oh, there you are. Ew. Yay! <laughs> wow, zero ceremony, huh? Naughty, naughty, running off like that. She's talking to her gun! Is this mm -hmm. some kind of picnic? Who's this little girl now? And taking that with you as well. I was looking forward to the trial run of my experimental smoke grenade launcher. Ah. Huh? What? Oh, do you want to play? You won't beat me. <clears throat> um, excuse me, but who are you? Oh, good day to you. I'm, well, the inventor, I suppose, of that machine. The inventor? Well, normal smoke grenades are so dull, don't you agree? White, white, and more white. If you have to be shrouded in smoke, it could at least be a pretty colour. I thought so myself. Now, do we have to be shrouded in smoke, though? At all? I just took my eyes off it for a moment whilst I was changing into a different omnibus, and she pinched it. Luckily, I fitted it with telegraphic beacon. A uh, tele... what's it? What? I have no idea what this girl is talking about. Anyway, you're all coming with me now, back to my laboratory. What? What for? To apologise, of course, silly, to my technician. What? You mean, say sorry? You must say sorry when you've done something wrong. Surely an adult has told you that before? An adult? <laughs> I don't listen to no adult. Oh, God. Mm? <laughs> Come along, then. Follow me. Mm. Fine, have it your way. Oh, good. You see, I knew you'd want to do the right thing in the end. I'm fairly sure that's what she uh, what she wants is not to get shot by that massive gun of yours. We'll be leaving now then. Bye bye. Oh, I'm so sorry for all the fuss. She was a lively one. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> It's been 8,000 years! Well, um, do you think perhaps we ought to be on our way now, too? Yes, you're right, but where to? Oh! We haven't had time to find a place to stay. No sooner had we arrived in London than we had to rush here. And our travelling cases are still with the bailiff. Mm. I was originally planning to spend a day in search of lodgings. But at this late hour in the day, I'm afraid we may be out of luck. Mm. Don't worry, though. I have a plan. If the worst comes to worst, I've heard of a lovely park where we could spend the night. Please tell me you're not thinking of McGilded Park. It's winter. I know it may be a little chilly at this time of year, but our youthfulness will see us through. It's winter in Britain. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. I think a midwinter London night will freeze a young person solid just as easily as an elderly one. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm starting to regret turning Mr. McGilded down. That 1,000 guineas would have paid for a lovely warm room or mansion. Mr. McGilded, come off me. And so, the trial, to, the trial to determine my worthiness for the study tour was over by the end of our first day in London. However, as we were soon to learn, there were more trying times ahead, just as the Reaper of the Bailey had warned. The case was far from over. This is bullshit. Me angry. Me angry too. Ooh. Ooh. What's going on? Get the fire brigade! Water! Bring water! Quick. Yeah, you fucking would. How did this happen? I don't know, sir. By the time I got here, it was already engulfed. No one was supposed to be allowed in here before we started investigating. <gasps> Oh. Oh, someone's oh. in there. Is it McGilded? No. Yeah, probably. There's, there's someone in there. Do something. Oh. Santa! Oh, Judge! Judge! Oh. This can't be. I'm a boy, Santa. <laughs> 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 Dude, I love Van Zeeks. I just wish he wasn't racist. Like that. <laughs> In chat, my sleigh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Man, this is like so much better than the Ace Attorneys I've experienced. Oh, yeah. 
I'm good to keep going a little while longer, honestly. Yeah, can we take a quick, quick break so I can get a drink and all that? Sure. Oh, chat. Um, I'll send you to him at the end of this. I'm, I'm planning to do, like, maybe another, I don't know, 30 minutes. Um, but uh, my friend Piff is doing a thing in Genshin where they have a promotion right now where if he gets a certain number of followers, he gets a bunch of, like, in-game rewards. And Piff is my good buddy, so if you guys, uh, I'm going to, at the end of the stream, raid him. And I think he needs at least 50, just 50 followers, which isn't that much. Uh, I think but it's 100, yeah. actually. In total, he only needs 50 more. Oh, dope! Um, but I think there's actually extra tiers. Here's his, here's his thing, if you want to do it now. It would help him a lot, and he would really, really appreciate it. He's our good buddy. <laughs> Don't worry now. There's always that one bad case. No. You know who would be the worst person to be in the carriage? Beppo. Beppo will finally be warm. <laughs> I just wanted to be warm. I just so want. have it. In I, hell. I just want it to be happy. Explodes into rose petals. <laughs> Bep, no! <laughs> little, uh, little very deep cutting middle late game last story reference for you all there. So be it. I think this proves that not all third cases are bad. Yeah, the uh, third case in. I like the third case in Dual Destinies, and the third case in Spirit of Justice is good, because all the cases in Spirit of Justice are good. Hooray. I didn't Did realize you? that Piff even streamed. Hell yeah. No offense, but where do you know Piff from then? Piff streams like 24 7. Yeah, Piff is, Piff is always streaming. It's kind of weird to see him not. Piff oh, Piff oh. I, I guess while Siv is up, I'm going to get a drink really quick. Boop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Hello, chat. I hope you're having a nice night. And if you're not aware already... Uh, in like two hours, if you're a Final Fantasy XIV fan, they're going to be doing the uh, job showcase, showing off all the new cool things that the character is going to be able to do. Or I guess the uh, various jobs. What's your favorite accent to voice? Um, I I like I like East Coast a lot. You know, I mean, that's what Ramsey Murdoch does. Uh, but Russian is also very fun because it's just it. Russian just like sounds silly to me. Will you ba -ba -ba do the escapades? I don't know what that means. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. It's a noise. <laughs> My eyeballs hurt. My eyeballs hurt. Bagora, uh, there's actually a Godzilla kaiju named Bagora from the Dark Horse comics. Oh, I'm gonna really? look this up. I want to see what this creature looks like. God, mm. uh, Godzilla, Bagor. Oh, Bagora. Yeah, 